Welcome back again to our series of videos about using Moodle for Design for Learning. Here we'll talk about the book and lesson formats in Moodle. Two formats that we really like a lot and use frequently for D4L. The book format is what you went through for the Getting Started section from the top of the main course page in the orientation module. You'll know it's a book by the little green book icon. When you click to view a book, it will take you to the first page of the book. With a table of contents displayed in a block, either on the left or below, depending on your device. We recommend that the first time you go through a book, you use the arrows on the bottom right to go through every page in order. If you want to review any information after that, you can use the Table of Contents block to jump around to different pages. Sometimes you'll see that in the Table of Contents, pages will be grouped into chapters. One great feature of the book is that it's easy to print or to save as a PDF so that you can add your own annotations. Scroll down to the Administration block, and if it's collapsed, Click on the plus sign to expand it. Under Book Administration, you can click to either print the whole book or just the chapter you're currently viewing. Now let's go back to our course page using the breadcrumb trail. And we'll take a look at a lesson. The lesson format is what you used to get to this video in the first place. The icon for this is a little flowchart with three blue boxes. This format is a lot like a book, but also lets us add challenge questions so you can check as you go and make sure you're understanding everything. Again, we recommend that the first time you go through a lesson, you use the buttons at the bottom of the page to go through every page in order. If you want to review any information after that, you can use the Lesson Menu block to jump around to different pages. There will usually be one lesson per week with an advance organizer at the beginning. For this week, it's called Starting the Tour of our Moodle. And a Summing Up section at the end, followed by a list of additional resources. As you've already experienced, after some pages, you'll find a challenge question that you have to answer before moving on to the next page. For the lesson to be checked off as completed, you'll have to try all the challenge questions for the lesson. If you answer a question incorrectly, you'll either be prompted to review that part of the lesson and try again, or you'll be provided with some information about the correct answer before you continue. The progress bar at the bottom will show you how much of the lesson you have completed. Don't worry if you can't get through a whole book or a whole lesson in one sitting. With the lesson, when you return to it, it will ask if you want to pick up where you left off and take you right there. With both the book and the lesson, you can use the table of contents to get to the part where you left off. You have to try every challenge question, get to the page for the end of the lesson, which will look something like this, and make sure that your progress is at 100%. This is checked off based on your progress, not your grade but you can return to the lesson multiple times if you want to improve your grade. In the next video, we'll talk about your profile and preferences.